Configuring an SSH user for public key authentication requires both a public SSH key and a private SSH key, also known as an SSH key pair. We recommend the client create their own SSH2 key pair and then send the public key to the Cerberus server administrator. The key strength should be at least 2048 bits for RSA or DSA keys. Next, I will describe two approaches to SSH key creation and how to assign the created public key to an account in Cerberus FTP server. Method 1. The client creates the SSH public and private key. This is the method we recommend. The recommended method of key creation and distribution is for the client to create the SSH key pair. The client will give the SSH public key to the Cerberus FTP server administrator while keeping the secret private key for their SFTP client. The Cerberus server administrator can then assign the public key to the user's account. This approach ensures that the client is the only entity to ever possess the private key and removes the need to securely deliver the private key to the client. The public key is the only file the Cerberus administrator needs and the public key file's contents do not need to be kept secret. The file can be sent unencrypted from the client to the administrator. Many SFTP clients already have utilities built in to create an SSH2 key pair, but if your client does not have one, they can download a free utility like PuttyGen to create one on their machine. Method 2. Server administrator creates the SSH public and private key. This method is not as secure so it is not recommended. Alternatively, the Cerberus server administrator can create and deliver the key pair for the client. However, with this approach, the administrator now has the task of securely sending the private key to the client. The private key must be kept a secret, and only the client should ever have access to the private key. The final step in configuring a user for public key authentication is assigning the client's public key to the user account in Cerberus FTP server. To configure a user for SSH public key authentication in Cerberus FTP server, first navigate to User Manager, and then Users. Select the user account that you wish to configure from the Cerberus Users account list. Click the Authentication button. Select the Public Key Only, Public Key and Password, or Password or Public Key Radio option. The Key Path Edit box and File Selection button will become visible and now enabled. Click the folder icon next to the key path edit box. A file selection dialog box will appear. Select the public key file you wish to use for the selected user. Click the select button to select the file. Click the test button to verify that the key has loaded. Click the Update User button to save the new SSH authentication settings. A single user can be assigned more than one SSH client key. This allows processes that share a common username and sign-on from several different machines to enjoy the benefits of SSH key authentication with unique keys and without the hassle of key replication and coordination. You can assign multiple SSH public keys to a user account by putting each key in the same file. You can use a text editor like Notepad to copy and paste the contents into a single file. Each public key must be on a new line. The public keys must be in the same format when adding them to a single file. When complete, save the new key file you just created. To add the multi-key file for the user, Use the same steps as before. After you have selected the file, click Test and you will see that two keys have been loaded. Click the Update User button to save the new SSH authentication settings. For any questions or issues related to configuring a user for SSH public key authentication, please refer to our online documentation or contact our support team at support at cerberusftp.com.